What's up guys, welcome back to part two of this video. We just left off finishing up the fuel rail, so the new one's in. So this is like the exact same time that I'm finishing up the video. This is just for part two. So what we gotta do now, is take out the front bumper, bring out the jack, lift it up. Just kinda gonna take it slow. I'm not gonna try to rush anything, but I do wanna get a lot of this stuff done today. So let's go ahead and start. All right, so the Evo's on jacks. Got it nice and even off the ground so we can get to the oil pan and the coolant so that way we can drain them. So that's gonna have to happen next, which I really don't wanna have to do. Um, I don't think I'm gonna record this part. I'm just gonna let my phone like sit because I've been recording a long time and my phone's getting pretty hot, so I should give it a break. So I'll, I'll get back to you guys when I finish draining all the fluids. So I'm back, I just finished draining the oil and the coolant, so. I went to go take a break and ate. Uh, I feel a lot better. So now we got to do is take out the radiator, take off the hoses, disconnect the intake. All the all the fun stuff is finally coming up. So got to do all this stuff. I'm gonna put you guys on a time lapse because I'm sure that you guys don't even know how to do this. It's just a couple of bolts and screws and that's that's it. So let me put you guys on a time lapse and then I'll get back to you guys. So this is what I was talking about. This really all crusted out, rusty, dusty looking exhaust manifold. It's so dirty. You can kind of see all that dirt. Oh man. That's why I want to clean it up, make it look nice and brand new and black. Just make it look so much better than what it does. So anyways, next thing we got to do is take off the downpipe, take off the uh, intercooler piping right there, and then um, disconnect all the hoses connecting to the oil feed and the coolant feed. And then, um, disconnect that one oil drainage thing down there and then disconnect that o2 housing i kind of forgot about that actually so there's that and then we should be able to take it off Yeah, that's a 
ton of play this bearing is shot that's why i'm getting rid of it that's why i'm putting on a new one so that's the reason why i'm getting rid of this if you want it for some reason you're gonna have to rebuild it um hit me up on instagram and then we can figure something out but anyway so i'm gonna go and stop the video here tonight it's already like nine something i kind of need to start getting ready for bed to work tomorrow so the next video will be me trying to take this off uh cleaning it up getting it all nice and then cleaning up this part of the uh the head make it look a little bit cleaner it's a little dark but yeah other than that uh we're all set finally got the turbo out ready for some more power don't know what i'm gonna do with this yet but anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video like subscribe comment if you enjoyed it and i'll talk to you guys in the next video peace out